on the dick. So we're off on another adventure. All right, trusty sword, cup of tea. We're all good to go. Okay. Seeing it live, folks. We're cracking it over. Oh, here we go. It really hasn't been opened in eons. It's got a photo in it. <laughs> you are kidding me, right? Nothing. Nothing. Now, have a look at that. That's gold. On the Like we're heading off out into the sunshine, mate. It's a cracking day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The anticip anticipation's high today, bud, for a, a real good uh, dig. I reckon if we can get on, we can get in there, it'll be fine. I don't think anyone else is going to have found that. We're going to go out and dug that. Have to see. I reckon that's the uh, half the uh, trouble of, of finding spots that haven't been dug before um, versus you know not finding anything, I guess, because um, it's been done over. Yeah. And again, um, it can be hunted out, <laughs> and uh, just depends on your technique, eh? It's never hunted out. That's it. All right, I'll let you know when we get there. Mate, I think we're here. We are, whether we can dig or not, it's a different issue. Very good. Nice little rural spot. Right now, folks, we've uh, got to our place where we're going to have a bit of a dig today start out uh, just give you an idea of the tools that we're going to be using so this is a mine lab uh, equinox 800 with 11 inch coil a uh, little shovel that we use to do the out holes um, over here knee pads are a must if you're getting a bit on and uh, just to protect your knees some gloves a little bit of a thing to dig uh, coins and whatever out a couple of knives there's your Profinder 35, your Prado, or your, your thing to put your uh, collectibles, coins, or whatever in. A uh, bit of uh, aqua fresca in a bottle. Foo foo juice. There's your uh, pin pointer holder. Garrett bag. And a couple other things to uh, put around your belt. I find. Uh, these uh, tool belts, a lot better than the actual Garrett belt that's on it. Uh, actually sticks to your, your uh, hips a little better and doesn't drag around down your waist and bite into you when you're bending over and that. So a uh, bit of a tip for you if you're you know, uh, contemplating getting into it. So Righto. Uh, this is uh, Digger's tools of uh, torture for today's little venture. He's got himself uh, a Garrett AT Pro What's that coil on that one? Uh, 11 by 8.5 I think. 11 by 8.5 and, and he's got himself one of those, is that a Predator shovel? Yep. Mate, awesome. The actual signal that we're chasing is the 27 signal. Uh, it's in the hole and uh, we'll just use the Profinder 35 and it's right there in the wall of the hole. So I'm going to give that a bit of a look with the digger and hopefully extract it there one go so she's here you're getting it as I am here we go here we go yeah baby <laughs> oh, I got a King George sixpence really already 1940 look at that little beauty <laughs> Oh yeah, rung up like a 26, 27 signal and it is a beauty. There you go. Hunted out again, eh? Yeah, mate. <laughs> That'll do. 
Awesome. Well, folks, um, another plug. Um, we've got a uh, 16 signal this time. Pin the plug. So, uh, just curious as to what this might be. Should be around about Aussie 10 cent piece, decimal. So, let's see if we can uncover it together. She's chattering away pretty loud. Here we go. You're not going to believe this, Darren. That went off at 16. I've got a thrippence. You got a second coin already. 1957 thrippence. That was just mad. Went off at 16. Okay. Strong though. <laughs> I can't believe that. Twenty-one, twenty-two signal on the Knox 800 here. I think I can see. It's just there, look. Just there. I'll get the small thing out to extract him. He's just there. Oh no, that's not it. Gee, I thought it was silver. Yep, there it is though. That's a uh, George 6. No, might be even earlier. No, George 6. So these thrippences that we're picking up, that's a 44. And that just blew 20... Oh, so you know what it is. It's the mix of silver in there. That's what's throwing the 16 to the 21, 22. There you go. Mate, what did that lady say? It's been done to death here. Yeah, again. You are kidding. So look, those niggas uh, come up with something. Signal 80. 81, 82. Come up Some with sort of locket. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, really lovely. Pattern on it. Let's see if we can open it. So it's been um, gilded or something. You want a um, toothpick? Yeah, yes, maybe. So, yeah, almost got from here by the shopkeeper across the road. She said, oh, this place has been, you know, given a fair work over. And I sort of said, Darren said, oh, well, we'll mind our holes and, you know. Anyway, looks like uh, another spot we went to that was like that as well. This is excellent. Here's my trusty little opener. This is what I call a persuader. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if we do it in the field or not. Yeah, give it a crack. You're seeing it live, folks. We're cracking it open. Oh, here we go. Probably hasn't been opened in eons. It's got a photo in it. <laughs> you are kidding me, right? What the? Oh, I'll be blowed. Look at that. Open him up. Oh, look, there's a photo in there. Dude. What else was that? Pull that out. Here's a toothpick, mate. Come on, could be. Nothing going to get out of it. Let's just see. Shouldn't have opened it. Why? Is that the first one of these we've found? Got a little bit of metal in there. Nothing we're going to see out of it. Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? Let's keep that piece on. Okay, uh, folks, back again. Got a uh, locked onto a really solid 23 signal. It's in the plug hole. Um, 
Yeah, we've been finding some nice uh, bits and pieces out here, which has been well worth the drive. Let's see what we've got with the Profinder 35. Just there. So I'll swing that around. So oh, I'll just break this stuff over with your hand. Not quite, but it's close. Oh yeah, can't believe it. Another strippings, mate. George Six again. Come up a solid 23. Forty-three. Nineteen forty-three, mate. That is awesome. Solid 23 signal. This ground is just keeps on giving. Okay, folks, got a uh, different signal here at 13. It's very consistent. It's uh, towards the top end of the uh, plug. So let's see if we can locate it and get it out. At the moment. I'm thinking it might be a 10 cent piece. It's right up and in that range. So, let's just uh, see how we go. Yep, okay. Are you still digging bottle caps? <laughs> no, I picked a 10 cent piece straight up. Look at that. And orange. Copper nickel does that in this sort of uh, soil. It's really rich and just turns them orange. So, uh, yeah, not a bad guess for uh, the old Slim. Okay, folks, got a nice uh, 19, solid 19 signal in the plug. Let's crack her open. You know the drill. Seems to be in the wall. It's a little deeper. That happens sometimes, folks. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Kind of hoping this is a, a nice thrippence or a sixpence. Damn deep, though. Still coming. Sorry about the uh, jiggling in that. Uh, only one handed outfit today. Uh, I think that's it there. Yep, here we go. Got it. Well, this is something very different. Look at that. She's a, I'd say it's a Vicky. Penny. It's 1849. Sorry, folks. Hey, digger. 1849. Uh, Queen Victoria Penny. What was uh, the large one? Yeah.
I don't know, it might be a bit later, it's got the old veil, so it's the old veil. Oh, it's not the large one. Here it is. Well, folks, she's been a bit of an effort to uh, locate this signal. It's a 21. It's in the plug. She's going to need some uh, extraction. Spade out. I'm hoping it's a see. It's a silver. Hoping. Down a bit deeper than I thought too. Hey! Ha! Better than that. Look at that. It's a ram's head. Ha! 1946 shilling! Gee, that took some digging. Man. Good to go, Dig? Yeah, good to go. Open her up. Nothing. Nothing. No, but look at that. That's gold. <laughs> gold. There's gold in them there, Ovals. Oh, I can't believe that. Gold. <laughs> Give us a gold smile. Woohoo! Alright, okay, folks, another one in the hole. Really deep, too. Gonna need this to get it out. Tricky one to find. Good signal. Thirties. So not your average. Ooh, hang on a sec. What do we got here? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's why. I don't know what that is. It's a uh, deep crusty old penny. It's an Australian. Kangaroo, yep. So she's got to be a uh, 1947 penny. Yeah, see this soil, it really makes these uh, copper coins too go really, uh, you know, they get that uh, green to them, but it makes them go real orange. Same with the copper and nickel. Anyway, awesome! Hello folks, the shadows are getting long in the day and the sun's going down in the west. We had a great time here out in this uh, paddock. So uh, there's one in the hole here. Let's give her a bit of a look and see what we can come up with. Pretty good 24 signal, so it might be another two cent piece or one cent piece. Um, copper. Uh, I hope not. All the good signals that seem to have dried up. Here we go. I can't believe it. Ha <laughs> ha! Another little strippy. 1944. Hey. 1944. Another one, folks. In the hole. Give him a go. Nice 23, 24 signal. I'm hoping for another thrippance. That last one was really cool. I'm on 44. <laughs> clean out that hole. They're down there are waves actually. Hey ya! Uh. Another thrippin', a sixpence!
1951 George 6. Nah. Hello folks, we're trying for another one. It's in here somewhere. There you go, another sexpin. Oh, a nice one too. It's a George uh, 6, George 5. George 5, 1936, last year. Awesome. I don't know folks, she's a uh, 16 in the hole here. It's on. Oh, I missed it again. Alright, just in here. Hopefully one... Oh, still in there. It's a 16 signal, so... Oh! What the... I think that's a Jew's harp. I'm not sure, but well, that's something different. Could be wrong, but uh, anyway, nice relic. Alright, folks, we're nearly running out of battery here. Um, got another signal, number 20 in the hole. Again, she's uh, just in the wall there. So, a little bit of a hand, she's here. Let's see what we can get. Nothing yet. Hey ya! What? You missed him, mate. What? Another George Six uh, Penny, uh, Sixpence. the end of a very nice day full day and uh, hopefully we'll come back out here and finish this off yeah great day lots of silver Bigger.